finally made it to Paris. It took us about six hours. But we're here. This is the first one we're gonna visit. Hi guys, Dutch Game Hunter here and welcome back to another episode Hunting Abroad with Dutchy. Well, and first of all, I want to wish you guys a happy new year and the best wishes for 2022. Well, last week we started off with episode 1. I showed you guys this amazing store, Hobby One, uh, in Paris. We're still in Paris, but this time, uh, well, we're gonna continue our uh, game hunt and we're gonna visit a store that's called Fool7. Well, and for in case you're new here uh, to this channel, what I mostly showcase here are game hunting videos. Buying stuff off eBay is way less fun for me. What I really love doing is going outside into the wild and hunt for my games at pawn shops, thrift stores, flea markets and even game shops. And like I already said, I'm still in Paris and in this episode I'm trying to find some decent priced NES games. So without any further ado, let's don't wait any longer and let's jump right into this next game hunt episode. Let's go! Super Nintendo scopes at 350 bucks. Donkey Kong set four hundred. Look at all these bugs and ass games. Game Boy games. Pokemon Blue, yeah. <laughs> Loads of Super Nintendo games. Amazing. <laughs> A sealed copy of Super Smash Bros. 
300 bucks. Hmm. You can keep games. Yeah, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash 20 euros and I recently bought this one sealed for at least 12 euros so hmm, 20 euros is a bit pricey man to be honest I think all games are here pretty pricey and they have loads En gros, il y a un bouton que je n'arrive pas à tester sur euh, ce jeu-là. Ouais. C'est... Bon. C'est bon. C'est bon. C'est bon. Le bouton euh, R. Le L, il est censé... Euh, il doit la fois que tu as pris le L. Le L. Mais le R, c'est pas de réaction. Et l'autre, bon, c'est le Actually, never seen these before, man. They're pretty huge. We have here Dreamcast. Uh, 
Oh, this is the Dreamcast. 100 euros? I think that's not bad. version Mega Drive 2 250 bucks Wimbledon Ultimate Soccer Formula 1 Monaco GP How much is that one? 150 Mega Drive 2 This one is only 90. Wow, the Sega Mega CD. Batman. <laughs> Pretty cool, man. Let's go up. Best game ever made, E.T. for the Atari. <laughs> Look, here it is. Moonwalker. Pretty cool things. 15 bucks. Plague metal retro. Nice. It's pretty cool. And 15 bucks is not bad. Not bad. Not bad. This poster is pretty neat. And of course they have some pups here as well. And my son he collects pups, so I think I have to bring one for my son. What's up there? Another mega drive. Oh, pretty awesome store, man. Pretty awesome. Wow, what an amazing game store. Unbelievable. I can't say this is the largest game store that I've been to so far, but I can definitely say that this is one with the largest variety of retro games that I've seen so far. Amazing. I spotted a couple of NES games that I uh, want to buy. Um, but before spending my money, I want to wait till I visit all the other game stores here in the neighborhood. Uh, I just arrived and you know, tomorrow is a new day. Uh, then I have the whole day because I arrive pretty late. Um, and you know stores are already almost closing so I want to wait till tomorrow and see what the other stores uh, have in stock maybe they have the same games that I spotted here but the prices they can be different the condition of the games can be different so you know before I spend my money I first want to check out all the other stores and you know you can spend your money only once so I want to spend it wisely
Okay, and then the next day, first thing in the morning, I went back to this game store full seven together with my carefully composed list of games uh, based on my uh, recordings and you will never guess I came there there was a sign on the door which said sorry we're closed and I was like no oh damn no no why no unbelievable um, it had something to do with health issues um, I think because of COVID, um, it also said we won't be uh, open earlier than January 3rd. And yeah, I will be gone by then. So that was just, you know, such a big bummer. And well, lucky for me, there are more uh, game stores here in the neighborhood. So I will definitely find some uh, retro games, but unfortunately not here. So too bad I didn't score any games here at this uh, game store full 7, um, but my hunt in Paris is not over yet. Next week I will continue my uh, retro game hunt in Paris and I hope you guys will join me again. So for now I want to thank you guys for hanging out, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did then please by all means hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet then please now it's a great time to do so. Don't forget to push on the notification bell if you don't want to miss out on future episodes. And yeah, for now, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next.